So, thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. So, this is actually our exam preparation series where I do expect you have some understanding on the question that might be coming up. So, I'll be explaining all these core concepts on the question that will be coming up based on my understanding. So, it might be slightly different with what you have learned in your classroom. So, if you like this series of the video, feel free to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, thank you for watching. This is actually the part 2 of our How to Sequence video. So, if you miss out part 1 where I covered all the basics of sequence, okay, I will leave a link down in the description box. Okay, you can just skip to it and have a basic run through from the video first. Okay, so in this particular video, I will be covering all the special types of sequences question. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So for the first one, okay, the example here is it usually involves fraction and there will be differences that varies across the numerator and denominator. So combine all this information and construct the end term. Okay, so we have a question here which goes by 2 over 27 followed by 4 over 26 and 6 over 25. Okay, so as you can see, the term by term differences okay, actually varies across the numerator and denominator. So the numerator has 2 plus by 2 whereby for the denominator, you are required to subtract 1 from it. Okay, so with the information that I've gotten, I can now derive the zero term simply by taking 2 minus it by 2 and 27 plus 1. So after I do all that, I will get the zero terms of 0. Okay, so Let's combine the information of the differences and the zero term and we will construct a n term sequences which goes by 2n over 28 minus n. Okay, so this will be the n term sequence for this particular type of question. So moving on, we have sequences combined with power. Okay, so as per usual, we are required to identify the term by term difference. Okay, then you are required to list down the term by term, how they progress, okay, relating back to the difference that you have identified. Okay, lastly, combine all this information and construct the end term. So we have a question here which goes by 4, 8, 16. 32 and 64. So as you can see, the term by term differences is actually 2, okay, which progresses from the term itself. So we have A1, which is 4, okay, A2, which is 4 times 2, A3, which is the third term, is 4 times 2 times 2, okay. So, with that being said, we have actually identified a trend, okay, and we are able to construct the n term formula now, which goes by 4 times 2 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, for me to prove this idea to you, I simply take a1 as an example. Okay, so we have 4 times 2 n is the first term now, so 2 to the power of n, which is 1, minus 1. So we have 4 times 2 to the power of 0. So anything to the power of 0, it will result in 1. So 4 times 1, we will get the final answer of 4. So this is basically how you do this kind of question. So a couple of things to take note is, always check for the differences, then identify the relationship of it, ok? 
Okay, then you'll be able to construct the anthem. As for the last question here, okay, this is some unusual question that lately occurs in the examination. Okay, so you're required to combine the anthem sequences that you have identified, okay, and uses it to construct a new and term sequences so if you did some mistakes on the previous sequences then it will have a spillover effect and make you lose mark on this particular part so in this example i utilize the information that i've gotten from part one of our video okay so we have sequence a sequence b and sequence c so if you identify the trend clearly Okay, sequence C is actually the difference of B and A. So if you take anthem sequence of sequence B minus anthem sequence of sequence A, then you'll be able to construct the anthem sequence for sequence C. So I've attached a calculation in this particular video here. Okay, then you can see how do I expand and simplify it. So, if you like this part of our series, feel free to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. So, I've actually attached a couple of practice questions in the description box, okay? And also the slide, okay, of my video. So, you can just feel free to utilize these free resources. And I wish you all the best in your exam preparation. So, thank you.